I'm Alexandra D'Addario, and this morning I'm going to walk you through my skincare routine and my everyday makeup look. So first, this is my hair in the morning. So we're gonna put this back and we're gonna start with a cleanser. It looks like a mud sort of mask cleanser, but it's very pepperminty and like spicy. Glycolic mask. It tingles, but it's so good for you. And um, I'm not in my 20s anymore, so I need more acid, I've been told. And retinols and that kind of thing. And this is glycolic acid, it's great for you. You don't need to do like a very thick layer, like it already feels tingly. This is perfect. And I leave this on until I realize that I've had it on for too long and it's time for me to take it off, which is about 15 minutes. I have another mask that I love. It's a sheet mask that I actually got at a spa and they used it on me during my first facial back from COVID, which was a very exciting moment for me. And this is very moisturizing. We always look ridiculous in these. They work. I sheet mask on the way to work sometimes and I have sheet masked in the lobby of a hotel once with a friend. It's better to do it when you're with someone because then you don't seem as eccentric because you're doing it together. And then you just sort of rub this in. and your skin's all clean and ready for the holy grail of serums. This is my secret weapon. I'm obsessed with this product. I discovered it years ago when I was suffering from an outbreak of acne, and it was after um, a movie that I shot for a long time, a lot of makeup, I was in the sun all the time. Um, it was Baywatch, and I think my hormones were off, and I just hadn't been sleeping, and my skin got really bad, and I tried everything. I kept coming back to this brand, Vintner's Daughter, because people kept reviewing it online, saying that it helped their acne, and I thought, how is that possible that it's an oil? How can that work? but it does. It was really the only thing that really worked. It was incredible. They now make a treatment essence that you start with. This product, I use day and night, and I use this when I fly. So you just put this on. Don't pull at your skin ever. You can also put it on your neck. It's very important to take care of your neck. So then you just let it dry. You can do this if you want to. So this is the oil. I've had a skincare routine since I was very young. It's changed over time. And now I get to try a lot of products and um, you know, my skin changes based on whether I'm working or not working, wearing makeup or not wearing makeup. Because as you guys will see, I don't wear a ton of makeup in my personal life, but I have to wear a lot of heavy makeup when I'm working. And then I have other serums that I use. I use a vitamin C serum. Um, which I've only recently started using. Topical vitamin C is great. Avocado oil um, by Osmosis. And this is a very pretty color too. It looks like avocado oil. And this is my eye cream. And you just dab this on. And again, you don't pull. You just sort of dab it, especially on your under eyes. And I was taught, oh, that's in there. And I was taught to use my ring finger because that's the softest finger. And you can put that all around your eyes. So now that I'm all oily, I'll show you what we do next to make me less oily and ready to go out. Eminence, I've been using this on and off for years. It's one of my favorite all natural products. It's very thick. This is my base sunscreen, it's Epicurin. I have been told over and over to always wear sunscreen and to make sure that I do not get burned. And um, it's very important to keep your skin young and healthy. Um, so I have always worn it and I obsess over it actually. So when I put sunscreen on my face, I also rub it on the back of my hands because I think people forget to put it on their hands and 
then your hands really show your age as you get older. So always make sure to put sunscreen on your hands. Part of my skin routine is about a ritual that I think is really um, healthy in general. And, and part of my skincare routine involves a ritual of going to yoga and de-stressing and meditating and going to acupuncture. So I think it's really important to take care of yourself and um, learn to love yourself and love your skin the way it is and keep yourself balanced. And I think that all of that ends up helping every aspect of your health, including your skin. So next, um, as part of my skincare routine, I'm obsessed with natural deodorant. This is a lip balm that I've been buying since the 90s, since I was a kid. Um, they sold it on 86th Street in New York, near where I grew up, and it's like 99 cents on Amazon, and I love it. It's my favorite lip balm of all time. So now it's makeup time. Um, so I do very simple makeup. So this is Neutrogena, and I just do a little bit on my spots. Just sort of cover them a little bit. This is CoverGirl. If something's a little darker, you can use it on a spot. This is a, a powder that has SPF in it. I layer my SPF, I'm obsessed. Um, you know, I don't want any sun damage, so. And it just attracts like this, it has a brush, it's great to put in your purse. You just shake it out. So here's my blush, CoverGirl. When I was first starting to wear makeup when I was a teenager and figuring everything out, um, I went to an all-girls school and um, I was all excited because my friend said she was gonna set me up on a date with her friend who was a boy. I got this black pencil and I did this very, very heavy eyeliner. And I went to the movie with the guy and I remember it was really awkward. It would already have been awkward because we're 15. But um, I remember my friend told me that he told her afterwards that he didn't want to see me again because I was wearing too much makeup. The next step, I usually do my eyebrows. I really love this pencil. Um, this is Chanel. I like the way it's shaped. It's angled. I don't mean to brag, but I have been told my whole life that I have amazing eyebrows. And at first I was always like, what are you talking about? Because I don't do anything to them. I do get a little bit of a unibrow kind of thing going. And of course you get little strays and I just pluck those. But other than that, I don't touch them. I figure if you have a good thing going, don't mess with it. Sometimes I will just do this and do nothing else, especially if I'm feeling very lazy and I'm going out to dinner, like just with my boyfriend or something um, who needs to impress him. And, um, and I just wanna come home and go to bed <laughs> and not worry about taking my eye makeup off. And then you got a little brush on the other side and you can just shape them. Eyeliner, I like a light brown. Um, this is Clinique. I mean, look at that. I can do this without using any, without using a mirror at all. I've been basically doing this since I was, since I was, you know, my early twenties. And then I love to curl my lashes. When I first started using these, I had like a stray lash. I don't know if you guys have these. I'm assuming I'm not the only one, but I had a stray lash that like would grow down for a while. Um, and so it became very important to catch that one in the, in the little trap. And then here we have Clinique High Impact Mascara. Let's go. And I put it on the top and the bottom to color because the edges of my lashes aren't as dark. I just like a cleaner look. I haven't been wearing eyeshadow at all recently. And I usually just use the powder instead. 
so that it's clear and translucent. I like to use more eyeshadow when I'm going out at night or have a heavier makeup look. But I like this highlighter on my eyelids sometimes. But I sort of just put it where I think is pretty. So I like to put it over here. This one is Chanel. Um, it's very light, but still shimmery. So put that a little near the blush, and then I can put it here. Very pretty. And it kind of brightens things up. I know what you guys are thinking. Amazing. I'm ready to start my day, except my hair looks terrible. I just get a brush. <laughs> Fresh cut split end bender. So this is just to keep my hair healthy um, because I do have uh, a lot of heat treatment on it when I am working. So again, I just give it a break when I'm not. And I usually put this on the ends. You can put it on when it's wet or dry. You just put a little bit like that. Then you just brush it out. Always keep a brush and nail clippers and lip balm in your purse. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm ready to face my day. I hope you guys are too. And uh, I'll see you on the next YouTube video.